It's the only way I can beat you, Ted. You haven't beat me yet. Huh? You haven't beat me yet. I mean, like, this kind of play. To have a chance to beat you. My, how things have changed in this match. Ted Forrest was moments away from knocking Nam Lee out of the tournament, but Nam Lee has caught cards to come back and take the lead. Welcome back to the National Heads Up Poker Championship. Caesars Palace was just the site of one of the biggest upsets in National Heads Up Poker Championship history. Actress Shannon Elizabeth defeated superstar Barry Greenstein and advanced to the quarterfinals. And Paul Wasica, the runner-up of last year's World Series, beat TJ Cloutier. Let's get back to the action. Shauna, thanks, and maybe another stunning turn of events here is Nam Lee, once trailing big time here, now leads Ted Forrest roughly four to one in the chip margin. All in. And moves all in. He won't quit. A call from Forrest. I feel another suck out coming. Who needs to suck out? I do. That's good news. <laughs> <sighs> Ted is picking up some big hands. They haven't held up for him so far. He only had nine big blinds left. Not the five six of hearts. Suited ace deuce versus suited six five and the flop. You know, Nam wants to end this thing. I understand that, but he's getting hasty. Limp and play some poker. Pair of fives for Lee, aces for Forrest, one spade on the board. Nam needs a five or a six. Eight of clubs on the turn, pairing eights. Well, a fives is only out now. The river's at three of hearts. That means that Ted Forrest doubles up here. Check the tape. The best hand won? Thanks. Nice hand, Ted. Thank you. Oh, Ted Forrest can catch some cards, too, now. They say he's got spooky luck catching cards, and that's been evident again this year. All in. All right, I call. It's the king of spades, and Ted Forrest is the king of spades. Good luck, Ted. I hope you do it again, man. It's tough, Sammy. I'm in bad shape. Oh, God, one time. Wow. Oh, God, he's a hard man to deal with. Let me get that lady one time. Break. Well, Ted spiked his fair share of river cards, huh? Scary when the one of the better players in the field gets the best cards. Ace Trey suited. All in. And all in again. Ace eight, call. and Nam calls. I hope you got king queen suited. Talk. Ted has ace three hearts. Oh Tom man. Has ace eight offsuit. Ace of spades. Eight of diamonds. I was hoping for the king jack. Now I gotta figure where there's a will, there's a tray. The flop. Seven, seven, seven queen four. four. Two spades, two spades on the board now. And the percentages jump heavily into the favor of Nam Lee's ace eight. Here's the turn. And it's the jack of Another spades. spade. Worse news for Ted Forrest. Our defending champion is up against the ropes with only two outs to his name. Three of diamonds. And Deuce of clubs, and Nam Lee has come back from the near dead in this match. He eliminates the reigning champion, Ted Forrest. Nam Lee moves into the quarterfinals. Good job. I was going to play up, man. He's so, he's so good. He outplayed me like almost in the flop. He's got a gamble. A winning gamble for Lee as back at our feature table, Umberto Brennis and Huck Seed continue to duel for a spot in the quarterfinals. And via the outback pocket cam, Umberto Brennis holding King Deuce off suit. Huck's got a two to one chip lead. Yeah. It's all right. This is for my friend. There it is. Umberto Brennis is moving all in here. Oh, I am not a fan of this. Even though the blinds are a three and six thousand, Umberto can wait for a better hand than King Deuce. Oh. Here come the theatrics. I can't think with this guy here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think. He's a nice, nice guy. No problem. Do not need thing. Just team in here. 50. You can go to the room. Just take six no, from no here. No problem. No steam. No. Easy. Hey, hey. I know he can. I, I, I told you. Come I on. can Tell barely think I with this going on. Okay. Yeah. What would you like yeah. to do with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I promise. <laughs> no! No! Uh -oh. We need to! We need to! We need to! 
How do you read that? <laughs> exactly. And we do have a call. What, what, did he, what did he say I got? What did he say I got? He got A7. I know what you have. A6. You have King Jack of Clubs. No, I have a king. I am the king. You have a king. Yeah, I promise I have the king. My God, I need a king. You know? Okay. Pero sigo okay. siendo el rey. Uh -huh. Oh my God! Check my tongue. He's telling on the camera. Oh, oh. oh get oh. oh. <laughs> The child is hungry. King is coming. Oh. Turn the cards up. Right? Yeah. No problem. Five, King is coming. <laughs> king, King, I'm sorry, King, King, King. Ace, Whoa. Eight, eight. How about All right. Ace, eight, eight, a couple of hearts on the fly. And the heart. Aces and eights on the board now. Who is the king? Huck's pocket fives have just been counterfeited. Umberto's playing aces and eights with a king kicker. Ace or eight or five? Ace, eight or five. Umberto Brennan's a big favorite here. You know this? Told this guy who is the king. Oh, they're going to split it. The full house on the board is split pot, a huge card for Huxseed. We split, we split. Exciting hand, exciting hand. So we chop. A lot of work for my 6,000 bag. Let's take another look at the magic of that last hand, Matt. The old eight ball on the river means let's split it up and do it over, kids. Welcome back to Caesars Palace Las Vegas in the National Heads Up Poker Championship. Humberto Brennis, well known for his table side antics, but the real star of his sideshow is a certain seafaring predator. The chart have history in the last World Series. Uh, one friend said to me, Humberto, come on, play with this and give me a chart. And I say, the people scared the chart. And I said, okay, I used to murder the chart. The first day in the World Series, I run him very good. I use the chart, and the people uh, say, Humberto, why do you say uh, chat in Spanish? Uh, I am very happy in this moment. I don't think too much and say, hey, in Spanish, the chart is, is Humberto. Uh, and now, the chart is with me. The lovable Humberto Brenes, the Chichi Rodriguez of the poker circuit. And he has had a great run in this heads up competition. He's coming, he's coming. Suited 9-7 for Huck Seed, and he's going to try to put Umberto all in here. Ace-5 for Brennis. And a little calculation. What did you say, sir? Ah, he said, yeah, 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 yeah. And he is going to call. He told me. I answered him. He said, yes. Thank you, sir. I got, I remember you. Look, look at what I got. Thank Soliciting you the crowd. He's sitting behind me. Oh, there's a payoff. Thank you. Thank you. I couldn't you make out the bill. Right. What are you thinking, Matt? 20? Yeah. 10? I think it was he a single. Me, yeah. <laughs> you got me. He, he knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. He told me. He knows. As soon as the he camera knows. shuts off, he'll be asking back. for that money oh. back, by the way. Yeah. I don't see the one. No, you no. see the other one. Oh. You see the other one. I know you see the other one. Oh. We gotta get him on to decaf. It's crucial. Either that or get him a seatbelt. Now, Umberto had less than 50,000 with the blinds at three and 6,000, but I find this to be an uncharacteristic loss of patience for Huck Seed with the 9 7. Come on. The flop. Five, King Five, trip fives for Brennis. It's Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Big one, King. Another five. Eight of hearts on the turn. Six now. Oh, Six now. Sir, Huck's got a gut shot straight draw. You give me the hundred. Oh, Umberto claiming it was a hundred. Six. Okay. You do it. Here's the river. Here comes the river. Give me a deuce. Deuce. River deuce. card is a and nine nine. of hearts. And Umberto. Good hand. And Umberto oh, Brennis is doubled up. You want to just stack it up or count it? It's going to be 47 two. The shark. Thank you, sir. Let's go to Shauna Hyatt, who's with a pair of interested spectators. I'm here with Mike Matisau and Brad Booth. What do you guys think of Umberto's behavior? Where you guys came in here to watch him? What's going on? Well, I, I just came in and missed the end. I mean, to me, Umberto's always been pretty funny, but uh, I got in here and I heard he's 
like re re way out of line and taking it a little bit too far. And uh, you know, in, in this poker, you know, I like to have a lot. Everybody knows I like to have a lot of fun too. But you know, some, against somebody like Huck, who's really quiet and.